so you make a knot and chain 16 one two three four five six seven eight sixteen okay so sixteen so on top of this sixteen you hold on to the last chain your sixteenth chain and chain three one two three then turn around with a double crochet and put it in that chain that fourth chain you've held on to wrap your yarn around the hook and put your one double crochet in the last 16th chain and make your first double crochet and we are going to be using double crochet and then a diamond stitch in this project so what we're going to do is I'm going to put double crochets along the chain onto the last chain and then I'll meet you there well let's just do a couple together okay that's our first chain so these are two already two double crochets with the three you added on top of the 16 okay so let's just keep going Sorry about the background noise. I live just close to the road and they're constructing it and there's a lot going on. So you bear with me or you might just mute uh, the video if it's too much. Oh my God, that's too much. I'm so sorry. But we have to strive through hard times. to be over so I can make my tutorials in peace let's meet uh, right here at the end so there's nothing special you're going to do in between just put your double crochets across your 16 chain so we have this is what we have and then I'm putting one last double crochet in the last chain on our first chain we made. Okay. Okay, so this is what I have. So in this last chain we are going to add one double crochet and then chain two and then put back three double crochet. Okay? Let's do that together. So this is our first double crochet into that same last chain we ended in. And then we're going to chain two on top, two chains, and then go back again with three double crochet. One, two, three. So in total we have five half double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Two half double crochets, chain two, and then three half double crochet. Okay, so let's turn our work, just flip it a little bit, and we are going to continue with double crochets along the line. So you put your double crochet in in here in here right here okay So there was nothing special except these five half double crochets that happened in the last chain where we just put two double crochets, chain two and then three double crochets. So moving on. I'm 
going to put double crochets all along this side and I'll meet you right at the end so you have to pause and then work on that and we'll catch up yeah you always look for that first or last double a chain it's um, it get lost with them <laughs> so anyway so that's it so we have our first row of the cup so we chain four <laughs> chain four one two three four and then turn your watch and then put put your half double crochet or you, this is your first no sorry now chain four turn your work now we're going to start on our new uh, stitch we're going to use um, diamond stitch for the rest of the, the project so after chaining your four you turn your work and then we are going to stitch in the third so we'll be chaining four and then stitching them in the third chain okay so it will be four by three is that easy four by three so okay let's count don't count the first chain so let's count from the second one one two three then just stitch your your chains with a single crochet in the third chain then chain four put them in the next third chain one two three See that? then chain four put it in the third chain with a single crochet chain four put it in the third chain and put it in the third chain uh, chain four again put it in so we have three chains remaining here but we're going to put our we have three chaining we have three chains remaining this is one two and three but we shall skip the last one we shall ignore it and just you know put our next double crochets in this space we created when we put our first our five this space one two then chain two on top one two then go back again into this space and put three half double, three double crochets one two three you see that I like it when it's developing. <laughs> okay, so we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Now we'll do the same thing we've done this side, but let's do it together. Okay, one, two, three. You put your four chains in the third chain with a single crochet, chain four. 
One, two, three. Make it seem like a shame. One, two, three, four. Put it on in the third chain. So it's a four by three. Or four and three, four and three. Four and three. One, two, three, four. Into the third chain. One, four, oh, two, three. <laughs> it's so interesting when you just get lost into your own project and then you start miscounting. That's why, guys, I tell you, if you watch a tutorial and the designer is not really giving like full details. It's always good to replicate it yourself, you know? You can even change it and come up with something new um, from what, sh from what uh, knowledge she has given you. Just add up on your, on your own, you know? Sometimes you, uh, the designer cannot answer everybody's question. It may get so overwhelming. So when I was learning how to crochet in, and I was, you know, looking up to other designers or creators. If a project failed me and I couldn't understand a certain part, I could just replicate it my own way. And then I come up with something good, something new, you know, from someone's knowledge. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not so good with uh, vlogging. So sometimes I really gamble, but what I would advise, um, my other creators if you're copying from someone and you you get to a point where you don't understand them and maybe if you try to reach out and they're not responding to you just come up with something replicate that that same design and come up with something new because that's how we learn we learn the hard way sometimes not everything is given to you you know I, you know what that's too much <laughs> talking Done doing, let's move on um, to the last chain. So this is one, two, three, right? You put your last diamond there. Four. One, two, three, four. Done your work. See, that's right. And we now it's going to get easier. After chaining your four, you put you stitch your chain in, in every I don't know if I could count, but I don't really always count this, but I, I just aim for the middle chain. So you put you stitch until here okay so let, briefly let me just explain here okay this is going to be the longest vlog but it's also nice to uh, you know talk to you guys um so this is what you're going to be doing every time you reach on the top of your project you put two double crochets you chain two and go back again with three double crochets so this is the only magic you do here and we'll continue doing so for about 10 rows okay 10 rows so this is this was our first this was our second now I'm walking our third row okay so let's do the third row 
because the rest of the rest of the project you'll be just building up doing the same thing okay putting your four chains in the middle of every chain okay just with a single crochet I was telling you about so we we on top of the the cup so what you do you prepare your double crochet put it in in that space go back again to the second one and then chain two then you go back again with three more all right see that we are now about to wrap up our third row so like i said we're going to be doing 10 of these and that will be able to fit a size small and a size medium. Um, four. One, two, three, four. And then you just insert it in the middle of, on top of the next chain. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then you put it in the middle, on top, in the middle chain on top of the last. Yeah, I suppose that should be the needle somehow. This should be the needle. So, and then that's it. So nothing else you're going to do besides repeating the same thing I've showed you and let's meet again on our tenth row. So that's it. You do that for seven more and then you have your full cup. Then I'm going to do this up to the tenth row. Then I'll show you what next. Okay. So now I'm done with my full cup, and this is going to fit a size small and a size medium. So what next? What next is I'm going to um, start making the straps, and this is the back strap, and this is the front strap that you tie with the other with this cup. Um, and then this is the neck strap okay so let's start with the back strap I'm just going to show you how I begin my uh, straps um, it's quite long so you can make it as long as you wish okay so just show you the foundation and the rest you will just keep doing how long you want it okay to begin your back strap so this is where I ended when I was doing my 10th row okay don't cut no strands just continue so you're going to continue I'm going to chain four and put my first diamond um, stitch here and then the second here in the middle and then the third okay and then we chain four from the third and then we turn back we skip one okay let me just show you all right chain four one two three four turn your cup 
turn your cup then single crochet in the middle as you've been doing okay then chain four again two three four and then single crochet in the second diamond stitch still in the middle then chain four again and single crochet in the third still in the middle see that? then chain four one two three four and turn your cup okay now we're going to do some decreasing <laughs> we are going to skip this first diamond stitch and then we single crochet in the second and then the last okay skip this one and then single crochet in the second one Then one, two, three, four. Then single crochet in the last one. Then now we're going to maintain. Okay, chain four, two, three, four, turn your cup single crochet in that first single crochet in that first this one still in the middle okay and then chain two one two three four sorry chain four and then single crochet in the second one See that now it's starting to come up so we're going to maintain in these two you do this to your desired length so chain four one two three four turn your cup single crochet and then very fast and then chain four and then single crochet in the next one chain four turn your cup and single crochet one two three four single crochet and the next oh come on Okay, so I'm going to keep doing this to my desired length and then when I'm done I'll show you the same thing, the same thing I did this side is the same thing I'll do here except this side that ties um, in front is shorter. Okay, this is what we're talking about. you see this side the front part is shorter so you do this length not too long you know what you can just do it as long as you want it but if you're going to be doing my particular bralette then you should do this shorter and then the one that ties in the back longer so the good thing it's elastic um, And then I'll come and then I show you how I do the next round and then we
Now I'm done with my back strap. You see, it's long enough. Uh, when you're doing this kind of mesh, it's kind of elastic, so you do it as you measure and the and yourself or the dummy, and you see how long it is because it stretches. So this is not too long, um, but it's with enough. So let me show you how you, you begin on the other side of the cup, the front side. So you pick out the third space from down. This is one, two, three. And then you just attach your, your strand with a single crochet. You can sew in those ones later. One, two, three, four. And then you single crochet in the next space, but on top of those chains, somewhere in the middle, the middle, the middle chain. Then one, two, three, four. And to the last one, you just single crochet somewhere in the Middle chain, and then chain four, and then turn your cup, and you chain. Oh, sorry, you single crochet again in that next space, but on top of that middle chain, and then chain four. And then you do the same thing in the next space. Come on. Okay. So that's where you end. You not touch on the third one. We'll not be doing anything with it. So we're going to maintain with this too. The same thing we did the other side. So chain four, turn your cup, and then single crochet in the next space. Chain four. Repeat. And I'm just gonna shush for a bit because it get annoying when you keep on talking. And then that's when you even say mistakes and then you mislead the viewers. <laughs> it happens to me a lot of times when I just keep on talking. And then I end up saying different things. But it just helps me to keep going, you know? Some projects could be so, so long and you could get bored. So instead of giving up, and then you rather just chat up with your people, right? Yes, repeat. This one will not be as long as the one, um, the one you do for the back. So, you see, that's what we have. It's growing. So I'll add a few more, um, a few more chains, and I'll show you how to attach the neck strap. So. Let me catch you. What I do, I, I attach my new yarn on one of these uh, double crochets, the first one. Then I chain three. I put another double crochet in the next one. And I put another double crochet in the middle space. And I put another double crochet in the next double crochet and in the next.
then chain three then skip then skip one double crochet oh you skip one chain and then you single crochet in the third one then skip the last chain and single crochet in the second last so that means i'm decreasing i want a smaller strap one two three four chain four turn your cup and then i'm going to triple crochet into the third chain okay and then I'll do another triple crochet sorry and then after this triple crochet I will chain <clears throat> four one two three four and then just then prepare a double crochet and then I'll look for this this loop just where I started chaining um, the four chains and then I will do my first double crochet then chain oops then chain four and then just double crochet into these two loops somewhere down there you can see them okay see what we have 